Hey everyone, it's Pauline from Zilch Beauty, certified makeup artist. And we're back with a super practical video for the summer of 2021. Travel is back, people are vaccinated, and it's hot girl summer. So we wanted to show you today a quick little travel makeup look that basically you could do super quickly, either like waiting for your flight to deplane while everyone gets off, or just something you could do quickly in a bathroom once you land at your airport and be out and ready to go by the time your bag hits the baggage claim. Okay, so I think the biggest tip I have for face care, skincare, makeup while flying is skip the makeup for the flight. It's just not worth it. What I will recommend is making sure that you do some skincare prep ahead of time to help this process along once you're ready to actually put your makeup on when you land. First thing would be to obviously wash your face, go through a very simple, hydrating, routine i think the biggest key is to make sure that your face is hydrated before you fly so spritzing yourself with a hydrating toner or mist like a rose water or some sort of hyaluronic acid mist would be amazing using a hyaluronic acid serum and then really doubling up on your moisturizer even if you're oily putting an extra layer of moisturizer on before you get on the plane is going to be key because air pressure in the airplanes gets real dry real quick and take from your skin, believe it or not. Um, so you wanna make sure that that natural moisture from your skin is locked in with a double layer of moisturizer. And then from there, I always recommend wearing an SPF, especially while you're riding on an airplane, because if you think about it, here's the sun, here's the ground on the airplane, you're closer to the sun in the plane than you are on the ground, but you never thought about that. So wearing your SPF and making sure that it is applied all over is key. Um, so I'm gonna use something that actually can kind of act like a base for that makeup that you'll do when you land as well. I like using the Super Group Glow Screen. Um, you can use whatever SPF you have, but I just like this one because it has a little bit of a tint to it um, and it just leaves my skin feeling glowy and fresh. I should note that I did my skincare routine up until my SPF prior to applying this, but as you can see, this is a really pretty glowy base and I feel confident that I'm protected in the glow screen. So once I land, I'm really not trying to do a full glam session per se, but I might be a little tired from the plane, might be a little dry. Um, so I want to bring some moisture back to my face. So this is when you would want to make sure that you're hydrating with some water. If you have a hydrating rose water mist, like I mentioned before, this is a great time to reapply it. It's gonna just bring some of that moisture back to the face and then we can go in and start to apply some makeup. So from my stack, I'm gonna go in and grab my Arlington concealer. I'm really only going to apply this to places that I need it. For me, that's typically right under my eye as well as around my nose, maybe a little bit in the middle here. And then if I have any little blemishes, I will add that on top. I love blending out with the Subtle Beauty buffing pad. And you can just kind of press this in to the skin. So not only will this buff out your makeup, but it's also gonna press that if you use like a hydrating mist, it's gonna push that into the skin as well um, to really get it into the pores and give you that hydration back quickly after your flight. So from here, it's totally up to you. If you feel like you are a little too maybe shiny or glowy, you can always go in with that shine control powder and just add a little bit underneath your eyes. I think that this definitely helps set concealer, especially if you're going somewhere warm and you might start sweating. I do like to put a little bit just in these small areas, but I like to keep the rest of my face pretty glowy. From there, I'm only gonna do a couple more steps. I'm gonna go in with Perfectly Pink Lip and Cheek. I'm just gonna warm this up on the back of my hand. I love this shade for summer. It's just really bright and fresh and just gives you that little pop of like sun-kissed glow that you might want. I might put a little bit just over my nose here to give that illusion of sun-kissed look. And then I'm not gonna go in with any contour today. So I will also sometimes just bring that blush up into my hairline to give just a little bit of coloring since we do get that naturally when the sun hits us. Obviously it's flipping cheeks, you can go in and just apply a little bit to the lips as well as your cheeks. 
the soft little lip tint there. From here, I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of my rose highlighter. I like this one, it's got a little bit of a pink little shimmer. This is just gonna add a little bit of that shine back to the face, especially if you powdered. And I'm only putting this on the high points, which will be right here on my cheekbones and right on top of my nose. If you want, you can add a little bit on your eyes just to give you that like awake, glowy vibe but realistically, I think this looks really natural and really pretty. Again, we just came off a plane. We're not trying to be too glam. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. If you were asleep on a plane, maybe you were wearing a little bit of an eye mask, maybe your lashes are a little uh, wonky in their shape. So I do like to just curl my lashes to kind of give them a little bit of something back. And then I like to go in for a more like natural, fresh look with a brown black mascara. Um, so I'm using just a brown black and I'm gonna just get that right on top of my lashes for just a quick little lift. And here I'll just go and buff out my brows. I'm not even really gonna fill them in. But just like that, you used three products from Subtle. You have the concealer, the lip and cheek, and the highlight. I threw on a little bit of mascara and just groomed my brows out. And then you have hydrating skincare tips to help bring that moisture and hydration back to your face for that I just woke up like this glow for wherever your destination is. So I hope you guys are traveling safe this summer. Hope these tips helped and we'll be back with more videos soon. Bye everyone.